Hello again, this is Deb and welcome back to Word 2019. In this module, we're going to take a look at how you can navigate around your document. Now, I have open on the screen the navigate.docx document, and this is just a document that's been created about Smith properties. Now, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to cast your eyes down to the bottom left hand of the screen, where you can see here it has section one, page one of three, 845 words. So we're getting a little bit of information about this document from our status bar. I can see it has three pages and I can see the number of words and I can see that currently I'm clicked in section one. Now we're going to talk about how you section up documents a little bit later on, so don't worry about that too much at the moment. What I want to focus on is how you can quickly navigate using some of the tools in Word to jump around your document, which is particularly useful if you have a very long document. This document here only has three pages, but a lot of the documents you create could be hundreds of pages long. So being able to quickly jump around, find what you need is extremely important and will add to your efficiency. Now, obviously, I'm going to start with the most obvious thing. A quick way of moving through your document is to use your scroll bar on the right hand side. So I can use that just to scroll up and down. And again, if you've only got a few pages in your document, that might be absolutely fine and that might work for you. So you do have your scroll bar. But let's talk about using some utilities for a document that's a little bit longer. So first of all, I'm going to click my mouse at the top of the document here, just in front of where it says Smith Properties. Now, if I had a document that was thousands of pages long and I wanted to jump right down to the bottom of it, it's going to take me quite a while to use the scroll bar and scroll down. I'll probably end up with a little bit of a wrist ache by the time I've finished. So a quick way of doing it is to use your keyboard in order to jump you straight down to the bottom. And in Word, what you need to do is press Control and End, and that will jump you all the way down to the bottom. And you can confirm that by looking down in the left hand side in your status bar. It says that we're now on page three of three. So I know that I'm on the last line on the last page of that document. If I want to jump all the way back up to the top, if I do Control and Home, that's going to do the reverse. A couple of other shortcuts, if you hold down control and press your arrow key, so you can see here I'm pressing the right arrow key, it jumps me per word. So you can see it's jumping around that document just per word. So another quick way, and I could go the other way by using the left arrow key. Control up and down will jump me up one paragraph at a time as you can see as I do that, and the same if I do control up arrow. And if I wanted to select everything in my document, a quick way of doing that would be to do control A, which will allow me to select all of the text in my document. And we're gonna be utilizing control A as we go through this course quite a lot, because it is a really useful feature when you want to make mass changes to text. So that's a few quick ways of navigating around your document using your keyboard. What I want to talk to you about in the next section is using things like go to, find and replace. Again, to navigate around your document using page numbers, using headings, using specific words, so on and so forth. So please join me in the next module for that.